Today's conversation addresses the question, are you carrying things that belong to God? So jump in the car and let's ride. You know, God has great things that he would like to give to us. Sometimes it requires that we let go of some things already in our hands so God can give us what he wants us to have. The sad thing is that sometimes those things we hold on to are not even good for us. Then there are things that normally one would be expected to hold on to, but still we need to let go of for God's plan to work in our lives. For example, the mother of Moses had to let go of Moses and release him to the river so that he could be positioned in Egypt and leave his people out of slavery. Then Moses had to let go of the lifestyle as an Egyptian leader and his title of being the grandson of Pharaoh. Hebrews 11 and 26 states, he thought it was better to suffer for the sake of Christ rather than to own the treasures of Egypt. Then he let go of what was in his hands. Once he did that, then God was able to use him for a greater purpose. After Joseph's brothers tried to kill him and then sold him into slavery, he had every right to be angry and bitter. But Joseph gave up bitterness to save his family and the future nation of Israel. This tells us that anything that stands in the way of God's plan, his will, his purpose, and completed work in our lives need to be given to him. It does not matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent. Psalms 24 tells us that the earth is the Lord's and its fullness, the world and those that dwell in it. Deuteronomy 10, 14, 17 states, everything belongs to God, to the Lord your God, the heavens, even the highest heavens, they all belong to God. The earth and everything on it belong to him. Matthew 22, 21 states, then he said to them, give therefore to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. In three out of the four Gospels, uh, considering Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, 